So let's just replace the content view to the main view. Now, it's just if you build and run, we're just going to see a simple hello world. Let's just see that. There we go. It's just hello world. So uh, let's jump into the hello world view and start typing out all of the logic for this and how uh, it's just a built out. So first of all, we need to understand how this is, uh, well, you know, I just switched it, but how is it built out? Well, we have multiple layers on top of each other. So we have first the actual content that we want to show and we want to switch between those contents, you know, the home view, the profile, the settings view. And then we have a new layer on top of it. It's kind of like um, a black with op opacity. So we can actually see that, okay, we just have something on the, on the screen on top of it. And the uh, frontmost layer is the actual slide in view. So uh, let's just have that Z stack over here, Z stack. And we're going to put these three layers over here. So uh, first layer is the navigation stack. So navigation stack, there we go. Okay, we want the navigation stack because we are going to add that button as a toolbar item. So in the navigation stack, we're going to have a group so we can nest those free, uh, so yeah, free, and uh, you know, just another one with an empty view as a default value. So those free views. And for those free views, we need to know which one should be the selected one. So what I'm going to do is just add a state variable. So at state, private var and that is going to be selected uh, action index. I calling it select action index because I just uh, use the action index uh, as the property in the sliding menu but you could just call it anything that you want and by default let's just set it to zero so we're going to go with whatever we add into the group for the switch statement on the zero so let's do that switch and selected select the action index case zero and we're going to add in the home view again uh, this is a predefined view that i have uh, set up previously case one that is our profile view case two that is the settings view and then we want to have a default value because you know this is an int value it could be anything any other number so we are going to add in here the empty view or you could just add in maybe an exclamation mark or whatever you'd like right away this basically shouldn't happen at all 